Hello, my friends. All right, today we're talking about chapter 18 workbook. So in chapter 18 on the workbook page, we need to write a detailed one paragraph summary of the whole book. Okay, we've been writing summaries, but we've only been writing them on small sections of the book. Now we have to take the whole book and we're going to try to put it into one paragraph. Now, that's going to be pretty difficult, but if we think about what are the most important things that happened in the book, it's almost like we're going to be writing a blurb for the back of the book, okay? But in a summary, you can kind of give it away a little bit more because it's at the end of the book. In a blurb, you don't really want to give away the ending, but you kind of give details of what the story is like. So the things that I think are most important. So think about what you think. What do you think is most important in the book? Okay, go all the way back. Get your brain all the way back to chapter one. Okay, they're getting ready to leave for the Oregon Trail. Okay, they get on the trail and both of the Sager parents die, leaving all of the children orphaned. Um, the uh, wagon train leader gets the kids to the Whitmans. The Whitmans take them in as their own. Now, this isn't, those aren't a lot of details, but these are the main things that happened. Um, relations with the Indians are tense. Okay, they're kind of fighting. Um, there, uh, then the, uh, train from the East comes in again. And a few years after the Saggers get there and bring with it measles. And with those measles, many of the Indians are dying. Um, and that, uh, makes the Indians upset and mad. And we know that um, there were many um, Indians, including uh, Joe Lewis, that were trying to get uh, an uprising. So then we know that there was a massacre. Okay, there was a massacre. Um, Dr. and Mrs. Whitman, John and Frank, and other people living at the, at the Whitman house all were killed. Um, after the massacre, um, we see that um, they, uh, Mr. Ogden bought their freedom and they go on to um, Oregon. So, those are kind of the main events. So what I've done is I have, again, just like I did before, I've written up a summary. You can copy my summary, okay? If you choose to do your own summary, it needs to have all the parts, all the parts that we just talked about. But if you want to change some of the words a little bit, or if you want to add something that you feel like is important, I want you to make this your own. If you would like to use mine, that's totally fine. So let me read you what I wrote, and then I'll talk about it just at the end. Okay, so remember in a summary, we have to start with the book that we're summarizing. So I started out with, in the book, The Stout-Hearted Seven, written by Nita Frazier, the Sager family prepared to leave Missouri and head west along the Oregon Trail. They left with high hopes and dreams of land in the west. Unfortunately, along the trail, tragedy struck and both Sager parents died, leaving seven children orphaned. The trail leader got the children to the Whitman mission and Dr. and Mrs. Whitman agreed to take the children as their own. Life was difficult, but the Sager children grow, grew to love the Whitmans as their parents. Relations with the Indian tribes in the area were tense. Once the Indians started getting measles and dying in large numbers, some of the rebel Indians urged an attack on the Whitmans. 
In the massacre, many people died, including Dr. and Mrs. Whitman, John and Frank Sager, and others living at the Whitman house. About a month after the massacre, Mr. Ogden bought the survivors' release, and they traveled the rest of the way to Oregon. Catherine Sager thought it was important to write down the story of their lives and preserve her account of history. This book is full of triumph and tragedy and also teaches the reader that hard things can be done. All right, that's my summary of the book. So you are going to write it on this page. Now, this page right here, you're going to be doing a separate assignment. Can you see a number two? However, if the whole summary doesn't fit on this page, go ahead and move on to this page a little bit, okay? Because for number two, you don't need this entire page. You only need a, par a portion of it. And if you need to use this whole thing, that's fine. Just use the back, the blank, to do question number two. However you need to make it fit, you make it fit. So I'm going to attach this video along with um, the document for the summary, I would like for you to copy what I have written or if you are going to change something, make sure that it includes all of the details, okay? Don't make it so short that you've cut out a lot. I know this is long, but I know that you can do it. It might take you a little while to copy it, and that's okay. Copy some, take a break, copy some more. You can always just go into the document and do it. So, all right, my friends, chapter 18, summary, book summary. All right, good luck.